The Boston Cannons have been at the forefront of promoting the game of lacrosse throughout New England for the better part of a decade. This week, the Cannons held the fifth of six youth camps known as the Cannons Lacrosse Academy down at Narragansett High School in Rhode Island. Hosted by head coach Steve Duffy, assistant coach Jim Murphy, and a collection of Cannons players, the camp drew 75 area youth players ranging from ages 8 to 13 who were schooled in the fundamentals of the game. For Duffy, the key is that the kids all have a good time while learning about the sport. What we like to see is the kids had fun. The kids came to camp, they had fun, they enjoyed themselves, uh, uh, they had a positive experience, and that, and that they feel good uh, about the Boston Cannons when, when they leave, and, uh, and they feel good particularly about lacrosse. Um, and, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, at our games, at our home games, those kids come up to us and, you know, they say hi, they say hi to the players, they say hi to the coaches, and, and, and that's nice, and I think that's, that makes us unique as a professional sport um, uh, amongst uh, the other teams that we have that kind of exposure, we have that kind of connection with our fans. Uh, this is, I think, my fourth or fifth camp working with, uh, with the Cannons the camp staff. And um, so far, my experience has been uh, the kids really, really seem to improve as the week goes on. You know, a lot of kids don't get out much in the summer, and then when they come to camp, it's like first day to last day, just a huge improvement. And um, it's really cool to, to you know, be a part of that and watch the kids get better as the week goes on. One of the biggest keys to the camp's success is the counselor's ability to keep things fun for the kids. Sudbury natives Jake Beebe and Eric Haggerty got to work with the youngest campers and got to work out themselves trying to keep the youngsters focused. Working with the youngest group here, so we have a lot of kids who lose concentration pretty fast just because of pure age. And, uh, you know, so we have to keep it fun and keep changing drills and everything and make sure that they're keeping concentrated so that they're actually learning. Especially with the younger ages, you got to turn everything into a game, you know. It's, it's, it's a lot of instruction, a lot of fundamentals, but if you can make a game out of it, the kids start getting into it, you know. You keep score, you do things like that, it, it makes it a little more fun. So I remember some of the games when I was a camper that I loved, like in you know, Ultimate Lacrosse, which we were just playing, it always is fun. And then, uh, you know, we get into games in the afternoon, and the kids always love that, too. Weston's Marcus Craigwell, who runs Royal Lacrosse and also works for Metro Lacrosse in the city of Boston, is a friend of the Cannons who will be a first-year assistant coach at Wayland High School next spring. Craigwell probably had the toughest job of all, keeping the fun and doing defensive drills. He's got to make it exciting, make it you know challenging. Um, obviously, footwork isn't the most exciting thing, but if you can add a little aggression into it, let them you know, compete a little bit, you know, the defensive drills become more attractive and then they actually want to do it and then it becomes that much easier. So, um, fast feet, fuel the fire. So, you know, I'm all about footwork, you know, recovery and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. as long as you get that spark of interest from them, you know, we're going to have some D guys. Both Matt Smalley and Cannon's rookie J.J. Gilbane grew up playing lacrosse in Rhode Island. So to be able to have a chance to give back to kids in their home state was extra special for the two of them. I see myself and a lot of the kids here and I try and just show them ways that I wish I had known back then and try and help them get better because, you know, I care a lot about Rhode Island lacrosse and hopefully these guys can be the next generation to really get it going. What have you been learning down here today? A lot about stick work. That's good. What else? Yeah, what else? Fast, oh, okay. fast breaks, ground yep. balls, ground balls, defensive love it. footwork. <laughs> Wow, he's pretty on point. The Cannons Lacrosse Academy heads to the Middlesex School in Concord, Massachusetts for the final camp of the summer starting August 6th. Reporting live from Narragansett High School, I'm Bruce Lurch for the Boston Herald.